hey guys welcome back to my apartment and today i'll be cleaning my living room from a two month long depressive episode so i'll be decluttering organizing sorting out and getting everything spick and spam so stay tuned for that to see the results and what i do to get it all cleaned up so keep watching to gain that cleaning motivation Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Sorry, I was just dancing, so my hair's a bit crazy, but hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be tackling my living room in my cleaning after my severe depression episode, it, which lasted like two months. So I'm like finding the strength to clean up my place now. Um, hopefully you would have watched my last video if not go check that out of when I cleaned my kitchen and my bathroom. So yeah, today I'm gonna try and do the living room and the bedroom hopefully, but we take it like what we can. So I'm going to do the bedroom now and my passageway definitely. I mean my living room now and my passageway. So yeah and if you had watched my last video you would have seen that music was a serious um, distraction for me as it always is because I love music and I love to dance and I had to switch to movies so I was more focused in the movie just listening to it rather than you know. So today's movie is Pirates of the Caribbean Dead Man's Chest or or is it at world's end hold on oh it's at world's end it's at world's end i hope hopefully this is the calypso one because i love calypso yeah um so yeah that's what i'm gonna play in the background while i clean so yeah hope you guys enjoy let's get to it oh and i when i cleaned my bedroom and my bathroom that was actually two days ago so I'd, i said i would do it the next day and i just didn't i didn't feel like it i didn't there was no energy like but today i feel myself again um so i'm gonna do it today so yeah you just take it Take it when you can don't feel bad if you can't just when you can go with it and today i can so i'm gonna roll with it so let's go as you would have just seen me opening up my curtains to let some light in and I then just start to pack away um, items putting them back where they belong so you'll be seeing me entering and exiting out the room just to put things back where they belong But to my subscribers who have been here before um you may notice that my voice isn't as chirpy and you know excited in this voice note um i'm not really going to fake it or anything like that i've just had like a real emotional week so um yeah i'm just going to still make this video because it needs to be made but i'm not gonna really like fake the voice so yeah i'm just keeping it real um because stuff like this happens yeah guys i think i'm gonna do a davy jones count <laughs> tally up how much times i say davy jones in this video or how much times davy jones is said because um as i've already mentioned i am watching paris of the caribbean um so i guess i'll just i might just do that to keep track of it but um in terms of the video yeah i'm just continuing to pack things away where they usually go i wiped down my remote as well and um i was kind of sleeping on my couch a lot during this time so i was just like putting away the sheets and the pillows and stuff like that so in this cupboard is where i keep my dirty basket so i put all my dirty clothes and um anything dirty really just goes in here Do you hear that? Do you hear that genuine Jamaican accent? If I hear them get a fake Jamaican to play a Jamaican character again, I'm gonna write. Because, hold on. I don't know why it's so hard to get Jamaicans to play Jamaican characters. The, the, the accent is so genuine, they don't have to, you know what I mean? Have you heard some of these? 
if you know you know but I just like when they have Jamaicans clean Jamaicans because the rest they can't do it right they just can't I'm sorry but I'm not sorry okay as you can see here i'm just beginning to remove my cushion covers from my cushion um because it's just time for them to have a wash now so i'll be putting them in the dirty basket and we'll be washing that i'll have a whole video coming out on um me washing and folding up my clothes and stuff so stay tuned for those ones as well Um, at this care home this week or last week and they gave me a goodie bag but I didn't actually look inside it they gave me a whole water bottle that is like so generous yeah um, not that I've been doing it today but sometimes like if you have feel like you have to drag yourself to clean or you're just like overwhelmed with your amount i always do like this pick up five system that i kind of made up i used to do it a, a lot a long time ago but i don't really do it as much unless i really really feel like i just need to but it's just like if you're very over overwhelmed with the amount of things you have to, to tidy up just pick up five things any random fact it could be the biggest object to the tiniest little thing pick up five things and keep it pushing and you have those five things in your hand all right where does that need to go? Where does that need to go? Hands empty again, pick up another five. Literally, it works so well. Like, if you're overwhelmed, just pick up five things and you will actually get through it. And it just helps. By the time you blink, your whole room's clean. So just remember that. Your big sister Vida told you that one, yeah? I share a little something with you, you know? Generous and all. <laughs> I just picked up five things, a water bottle, a pen, oil, face mask, pen again, and keep it pushing. So I like to have all my letters organized. Literally, if anyone asks me for any letter now from any year, I could grab it for you in like a minute because all my letters are organized by day. Um, so that's just a little something in there just to keep track of my important letters um so i date them i write on the envelopes as well so i know exactly what the letter is but that's just another like side note um but yeah i just take an antibacterial wipe and i like to just wipe down my sofa uh, and i go in the sofa just to wipe out any crumbs or anything like that so i'm gonna put these where they belong for now but obviously i took the um the cushion covers off them to wash but when i wash and dry them then i will be putting them back here i'm just showing you how my passageway was looking and where my chairs were so you can see where they're actually coming from my chairs do have cushion covers but i think two of them are in my bedroom so when i do my bedroom i'll just bring them in here i mean cushions my chairs do have cush cushions I like to clean, I like to sweep barefoot, I just can't wear shoes when I sweep, like, I mean obviously I can wear shoes when I sweep, but I just prefer to be barefoot when I sweep, I'm more grounded, I don't know, I just feel like I could clean better barefoot, I don't know. I have a vacuum but lately the power's been really weak and I actually get a better clean from just using my broom than the vacuum so I think it's time for a new one so when I get a new one I'll obviously use that but I prefer the broom to a weak vacuum period <laughs> this is my trusty trolley <laughs> 
I don't care if this is meant to be for grannies or whatever. I take this wherever I go shopping from. I had, why am I talking like that? I had, when I first, first moved out, um, there was a day where I was coming home from grocery shopping and all my grocery bags popped on me. And ever since that day, I said never again. I, and that day, luckily there was a woman running, like her morning run or something. And she was so nice, she helped me pick everything up and take it to my yard, which was like a street down, a street or two down the road so that was so nice for her but ever since then i said nope i'm never doing this shit again if it's something like something i just need to run to the store quickly and get that's different but i think my full groceries i'm gonna stick beside her okay <laughs> we, we we don't go grocery shopping without each other no we don't not around here no and she can hold so much stuff like get you one of these i don't care who want to look at me and say what's that young girl doing pulling that yup yup i am and you gonna start me no i didn't think so okay see if i had a car everything would just go in the boot the trunk but until then baby i'm gonna ride with her thank you i'm a stick saddle this is a door stopper. Stop the cold breeze blowing in. See that I've got the balcony right there. I've literally had this ever since I moved out. It's done the job for many years. I moved out um 2017 and I've had me and that door stuff her since day one or the early days. You know what Amber Heard really fucked this shit up because if they do I'm never in the shot. Amber Heard really fucked this shit up because if they really do make up another Pirates of the Caribbean, I'm not watching it. If Johnny isn't in it, I'm not watching it. Simple facts. It will never, it can't be the same without Johnny. And I think he said he's not being in it, which per, because whatever. But like, she really fucked that shit up because they lost out there. They lost my, my ticket to go watch that in cinemas. Yeah. So I'm just throwing away whatever I swept into the dustpan, into the bin, and obviously I put my trolley back, but then I put my table back where it belongs. The good thing about having carpet though, is I can see where my table was, because <laughs> the little squares in it. So I just put it back in the same spot. Unless I'm like moving it around and I don't want it in the same spot, but like as for now, Going right back where it's been, but yeah, I usually change it right every now and again. It's not this way, it's this way. David Jones, <laughs> I don't know if you can see, but it's Dear David Jones himself, the art of Dear David Jones, Calypso, my girl. Naomi, you did that, girl. As you can see, my carpet on top of my carpet had a lot of like crumbs, um, so I'm just um, sweeping. If anyone out there wants me to play Calypso, I do have Caribbean. I am of Caribbean descent and I'm a very good actress. Elizabeth! Yes, yeah. We cannot come out. 
as you can see um from underneath my carpet like i never move my carpet i always sweep under it but i never move it like it's always in that position you know the crazy thing is when i first moved in here when I first moved in here, there was like no ground. What? Like there was floor, but like there was nothing like over it. And I wanted like laminated wood flooring. And the, the people told me that I wasn't allowed. I wasn't allowed um, wood flooring because I'm above someone. Bearing in mind, like growing up, I've lived in um, flats and our floor was wooden laminated flooring. So I wanted that back here. So say I couldn't because I live above someone. So I said, okay, maybe that's the new thing. I, and plus me who dance all the time, maybe it's best. I don't want to make no noise. When I get to know the people that I'm upstairs, tell me why they above me have wooden laminated flooring. So if there's a day named day when I actually want to pull this up, guess what's taking its place? Oh yeah that's right but i think carpet is really good because it, this is england and it can get refilled so i guess that's that but yeah that's just a little something and apparently there's meant to be like some padding under this it's straight the ground apparently there was meant to be like padding so it's a bit softer because child this is not soft this is what you call it wrong. but yeah little fun fact i don't know how fun but <laughs> it's a fact and guys another reason i like to sweep barefoot is because i can actually feel any little grit or any little anything really i can feel it when i'm barefoot whereas if i'm wearing my house slippers i can't really feel it and yes i sweep um everything up that i can see but sometimes you know there might be a little one or two that you just feel and i think that's also another reason why i like to sweep um barefoot in my place That you just witnessed was that last minute scan. <laughs> I do a little scan of the room. I used to wash my hands because after I sleep up, I just, I don't know, but I just have this obsession with washing my hands like every minute. So that's what I'm just gonna do. If you guys are enjoying my cleaning series, don't forget to like this video and subscribe so you don't miss my up and coming videos. which to me is a bit long but i was enjoying what i was doing so i don't really care you can see everything's tidy wiped down cute cute clean clean like i said i'm just gonna wash the cushion covers and then replace them like put them back is it just me who has an issue like this is like my seat <laughs> i don't know if anyone has their seat like that is my seat i mean the whole thing is mine but i like i barely ever sit here i always sit here as you can tell but um yeah because this is my seat i'm always like leaning my head back and my head's usually always oiled up so yeah does anyone else have that issue and they like lean on their walls and then it's just like the oils from their hair like i really wish that wasn't a thing but that is my thing there which yeah sucks but it is what it is and this i still love those pictures i'm so proud of it when i put it up myself that time but anyways yeah so this is the living room let me give you a little footage from there and little footage from here yeah and i always like to spray the room when i'm finished if i had some candles right now i'd be burning candles because <laughs> your candle is my gift that is my thing save the chocolates and give me the candles okay um but yeah so i usually like to spray so this is spiced apple smells amazing so Bri said usually like to spray each room when i'm done cleaning it so that's what i'm gonna do now more like it okay i obviously have my 
I obviously have my balcony out here, which I like to sweep, but I usually do that in the summertime. Yeah, because it's not as cold, but like right now it's because it's like rains a lot and stuff i don't really i just let it be to be honest but when it gets warmer that's when i like to sweep and stuff now if i film out there that would be a great shot but i have to obviously position it at an angle where y'all can actually can't actually see where exactly i live but um yeah that's my balcony gotta stay safe out here in these streets you know i can't remember if i filmed from this angle i don't think i did but up there is just my printer which has no ink <laughs> ran out um my most recent flipping cards that i got my best teacher award that i got from a parent from when i worked in a school i love that gift so much candles that i made during the lockdown um some certificates that i have oh can't show that hold on some certificates i have and then a picture of my um my last class that i had when i worked at school I think the picture's so cute, but obviously I can't show because obviously little kids in there. But yeah, that's just what over there is looking like. This is where I just keep stuff, like not random stuff, like it's all organized underneath. Just having a break, some red pea soup. And look at me sitting on this side. It's so, I feel like a foreigner. <laughs> I'm not even sitting properly, like I'm sitting at the edge. Not comfortably, it's just so alien for me to sit over here. But yeah. Bro, this scene coming up with Calypso. I can't live Whatever she says, I just love the scene. Oh, I love her. Here it comes, here it comes. It's not gonna work, mate. It's got to have love in it. Passion. He didn't say it right. You have to say it right. You have to say it right. Come say it right now, one eye. Jesus! I'm a cat, Olar. She is too powerful. Are you threatened by the queen? Hey! Davy Jones. <laughs> Come, Miguel. Show them. Fam, this scene. That is it. This scene used to feel so real. Look how big she's getting. Look at her. Yes. Backside or this scene fam <laughs> with all the crabs <laughs> Jesus Anyways that's it Look at this guy so pink like if, if the phone's giving orange what real life is giving pink Oh my god it's freezing Okay I got the